How are you feeling, girl? You did a great job. I f thank you. I feel relieved it's over. I um, did not feel nervous at first, but when I got closer, because I was the last one, I started to feel nervous, and I feel like I could have done my dance better, and I've done better during the rehearsals. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully I will improve the next time. Now I do want to get a close up of um, this crazy accessory that everyone has been talking about in the ballroom tonight. Look at this, it is all completely bedazzled. Talk to us about this process. Give us the tea. Uh, well, we're collaborating with the costume department and um, obviously we could not leave the ankle bracelet naked. So we decided to match it and it's like a little sleeve. It's not directly on my bracelet. These people are complaining. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a fun little thing to um, do. And Ezra, I think in some videos, I saw you rocking one at one point during rehearsals, in some videos. Did we decide not to wear it? Oh, to, I, um, in all honesty, they asked me not to. I was planning on wearing it. But I think that's something they're, you know, waiting for later on in the season. Yeah. Now, I know you had to get special permission to do this show. So what are kind of the terms that you can tell us? Like what happens when the show is over and also what happens if you get eliminated? Let's hope not. Fingers crossed. Uh, well, I am still, my primary residence is in New York, so I will just go back to New York, yeah. But for now, I am uh, allowed to travel back and forth or be in L.A. And I just keep in touch with my supervisors yeah, and speaking of New York really quick last question I know you guys were both at New York Fashion Week which was so so fun talk to us about that whole experience and also what it was like balancing that with rehearsals for Dancing the Stars yeah so I just got back to LA um, because yeah we did um, Fashion Week with Kelly Catron and we cast Ezra in one of our shows untitled so he walked and he got to be a part of it and he got to be a part of um, my world so that was interesting um, yeah. It was actually really terrifying. And it was with a bunch of like really skinny emo people who like have a hard time sharing their feelings and I'm like really the opposite. So I don't know if it's the environment for me, but it was really fun to just be in Anna's world and just really see what makes her tick. And I really do think I got a good sense of who she is after that. Perfect. Well, thank you. The icons. Vote for them. Week yeah, two. <laughs>